Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm CK and today we are going to be looking at the top 10 badminton players for men's singles, specifically for now, within this Olympic cycle from 2016 all the way to 2020. Um, so the Tokyo Olympics should have been starting this week. Unfortunately, due to COVID, it's been postponed to next year. Uh, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I will be looking at all five categories of badminton all the way from men's singles to mixed doubles. So make sure you click on the bell button as well so you're notified when I drop these videos. Um, so yeah, so hopefully we have a swift and safe return to professional badminton. Uh, I think it will start with the Taipei World Tour 300. Um, so fingers crossed everyone is safe and sound and can get to that and we can go back to enjoying badminton. So to the rankings. So a little food for thought here, um, when I was processing the data for these rankings I was very surprised and impressed at the same time to find only 29 players covering the top 10 position within these last 5 years. I think this shows how elite players do really have an edge over the rest of them and they tend to be the usual suspects covering these positions. Um, I like this line chart because it also shows how big the gap is um, amongst the top 10 players themselves. So the bigger the gap you see in terms of number of points, the more dominant they are within that certain area. So it is pretty tight and busy down at the 5th to 10th position, but it's always good to see really healthy competition. This is also the fact that certain players, all the players, do retire after the Olympic cycle. And from 2017, you can see a new, younger area of players, starting with Victor Aftelson as well as Kenta Momota leading the charge for the new generation. So here Kenta Momota is banned and he's coming back and out of nowhere you see him appear on the graph and becoming world champion in 2018. You can clearly see the gap between Momota and Shi Qi, which is the first and second place players, it, which is more than 10,000 points all the way from here on to 2020. This shows how dominant Momota is um, within this period of time. And unfortunately, Li Zhongwei had to retire in 2019 due to a nose cancer diagnosis. Uh, he's recovered now, but unfortunately, he is the third out of the four legends to retire. Subsequently, Lin Dan also announced his retirement in July 2020, signaling an end to that era. So finally, the rankings paused on the 17th of March because BWF paused the ranking systems for the COVID lockdown. So here we go into a different type of line chart race, it's just showing the changes in positions in world rankings for the individual players. And I'll let you guys enjoy this in peace. So hope you guys like the infographic for the men's singles rankings from 2016 to 2020. 
please subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified when I publish the remaining rankings for the women's singles, men's and women's doubles, as well as the mixed doubles. So see you all next time.